Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey, and today we are bringing you my very first build video in LEGO Fortnite and I'm so excited to bring this because on the downtime, on the nights, sometimes I'm working a little bit in secret, right? A little bit off stream. You know, a lot of you have been following the series in the live stream. That's why we're playing LEGO Fortnite the most, but it's so exciting to actually work in a little bit of designing, making area, making those fine details that we love so much that will look fantastic at the very end. And one of the things that we wanna keep improving is our little farm. This is the beginning of a big plan that I have for this little area right here. So today we're gonna start working on the little farm and one of the things that I, we saw uh, that you saw during the live stream was how to create the different pathing that we'll be having, right? So we wanted to have a little contrast between the brown and the white. That was one of the first things that, that was very important to do. So once we managed to do that, you know, I wanted to start creating something a little more elaborate, right? Uh, a little more and I brand and I started looking for ideas online. You guys know as you follow the channel, you follow all the different games that we play. I, I create kind of more in the realistic realm, right? That's where I like to build a more in the realistic kind of aspect when it comes to building and creating things. And that's where I'm heading into Lego Fortnite. So when I was looking at inspiration, I ran into this beautiful farm picture where they were using a bunch of pergolas, you know, created and underneath it, they were doing all this beautiful farm and work. And I was like, I was so stunned by that picture that that was my inspiration and that's, where we wanna start in my very first build video on LEGO Fortnite is to make this farm look absolutely gorgeous with some pergolas covering the farm, letting that sunlight come in, but at the same time, looking absolutely gorgeous. And we get to practice, we get to see the mechanics, we get to see how we, how difficult or how simple LEGO Fortnite can be when we're creating and building. And as you can tell, we are still working on the pathing, right? And this is when I do realize that we don't have all the pieces. We don't have small, like one square, two square, three square. And that's something that we truly, truly need eventually. And I hope that the developers of LEGO Fortnite start watching the community and seeing that it's so important to give us not just a two, but we still need that one. Because sometimes like this, we don't have the right piece that will fall in the right spot. So, and we gotta keep improvising, you know, we gotta keep tweaking and changing things and, and keep improvising. But the great thing about this is that we're not gonna give up, right? We're not gonna give up. We're gonna continue to improve the game. We're gonna continue to improve our builds and really adjust to what we need to still make something beautiful. And as you can see, we're still trying, you know, I gotta take this out, I gotta do it again try it again, track all the pieces, you know, and it's a process, right? One of the things that I've been finding out about LEGO Fortnite that is so important, and I want all of you that are watching this video to truly understand, and you're gonna have to develop patience. You're gonna have to be patient when you're building in LEGO Fortnite. I, I do believe that the mechanics will improve. It's gonna get better. They're gonna keep improving as time goes on, but be patient, you know? Uh, the more you play, the easier it will get, the more you're gonna understand and the more fun you are going to have. And I believe that. And I think because as the process went on, I started understanding more the mechanics, how we're gonna place things and how everything works. And then the frustration kind of went away. Now, it still was there, you know, it's, it's still different and the camera controls are really hard sometimes, but at the very end, you are gonna be pleased, you are gonna get used to it, and then you're gonna start having fun, right? Okay, so one of the things that we're doing right now, as you're seeing, is putting these amazing pillars, right? These amazing pillars that we finally unlocked, that we have it, and they're gonna be the beams that are gonna hold the pergola together. So one of the thing is that when you're building in LEGO Fortnite, it, the other thing that I noticed is, it's the math. You gotta do a lot of math. There's a lot of counting, right? Especially if you're working with symmetry, you want things to look right. But the problem is, is that the grid system is not visual. And when you're placing things, it only shows you a little bit, right? It only shows you a little bit. So it doesn't go far all the way out or not even enough distance to see if you're aligning. Plus the way we have to handle the camera, it's not our best friend, right? So that's another thing that you are gonna have to learn and get used to. And maybe you gotta repeat a couple times, you know, you gotta put it down come back out, come back in, look at it again, do it again until you get it just right. If symmetry is very important to you or if you have a truly something very specific in mind that you're building. 
Okay, so now that we finished putting all our beans, now we're gonna start working on the pergola itself, right? The other beans are gonna go across here. Now, this part took a lot of time to get used to, you know, trying to get the right measure. Again, a lot of it is mass, a lot of it is gonna be trial and error just to get it right, where to start, where the pieces, how much you wanna hang on one edge or the other, you know, to make it believable and make it look right. And this is, again, the camera are not the best, you know, I wish we have a moving camera and then a, just a camera that we can just kind of work around maybe if you hold a button and then it'll hold it so you can then warp the camera around so you can see but it's not there just yet so it's a learning curve and i promise you that the more you play again you're gonna get used to it right but as you can see we're putting the planks we're putting everything that we need and everything's coming out nice so everything now is working in order and i'm really liking the way it's coming out now another tip that i'm telling they're gonna tell you that you probably noticed already in the video is when you gotta break things down and they fall down it's gonna break your farm anything that you break down so close to the soil or on top of the farm it's gonna destroy your farm underneath so if you're gonna be building something like this just make sure <laughs> truly make sure that you're okay if your crops are gonna destroy or build it first and then do your farm right uh it's you're just gonna have to go maybe you already got a farm and you want to do this so be prepared that a lot of your farm underneath is gonna kind of disappear but it's gonna be okay so as you can see we're still putting the beams everything's coming in order and one of the other thing is the faster you're gonna get faster you know i noticed that myself we get we are gonna get faster as we keep putting and using the snap feature you start understanding it but slowly as you can see the beams are there now we got one way across so now we gotta get up on top of here right we gotta get on top of here and now get the right measurement once again so we can do the placement right here and as you can see i was a little off and this is when i was starting to notice that when you you know lower things down things break doesn't doesn't work just right you know but like always it's gonna be a trial and error when it comes to building gonna come to designing just getting the right measurement and here we are again testing it out making sure and underneath as you can see over here i'm able to count how far away i'm from pieces and stuff like that so sometimes that's what you gotta do you gotta find an angle that you can understand yourself and see where you're counting but once you figure it out and you get it then it's just repeat and the great thing by underneath that i can see i know where i need to start so once i place all these pieces where they need to go then it's just as easy as attaching and then we're gonna do the next math right the next math will be how how much spacing do i want the pergola to have that way sunlight can come through right uh there's different ways of, of pergolas so just choose and pick you know go online look at a pergola see which one you like and imitate the roofing of that particular one but as you can see now there's something very different when it comes to the game as you're gonna notice a couple of times it has come a section in the game that every time i was just placing something slowly everything was starting to curve all the plants were curving everything was curving so i had to reset the game so many times because as the planks were curving and not aligning correctly because for some reason they just started going in a whole different direction even though i know they can't turn like that it was just a little bit frustrating and i don't know why hopefully with the next couple of days things like that get fixed if you're experiencing a scenario like that that you see in the game right you're gonna start seeing it in a little bit later where you're placing things and the next thing everything is shifting and curving uh, let me know if you're experiencing that and let me know or maybe you never experienced that and you see it here you're like wow that's weird you know because i don't know why but it is a little a little disappointing that that happens it, it makes the building slower and having to log out back in and back out just for everything to be right so we can get the right viewing it's just not very fun okay so now as you can see we placed it now the next section of planks right we got in this direction we're gonna go all the other way and now this part is easy right after you figure out the math the snapping feature becomes and makes it so easy to do so this part i really like the snapping it feels it feels so good feel fantastic it just feels like you are progressing you're making really good progress and as you can see we're making a super nice little roof right here and i do believe that i like this now at the end uh i did it this way and i and i thought i really liked it so when i came back then uh, the following day when i continued to play on this build to do the final touches i there was something that i i felt like it needed a little bit more so we added more planks on the very top of the roof to go on the opposite direction and then i really liked it and it's because i saw a pergola that had like a little squares like that and i really love that design so when it comes to this 
don't forget, build the pergola that you are gonna love the most, that you like, that you've seen. It could have less wood, more wood, whichever way you wanna approach it. Just build the one that you are really gonna love as long as you're following kind of the initial steps. After that is the top, the top part, the roof is whatever design you want to do. Okay, so after we finished that, one of the other things that we needed to start doing is clearing around it, right? I, I needed a little more walkway. I didn't know how everything so close came out and you can't walk behind the beams and because everything's so close already. So like, again, when you're doing this, there's a lot of math, right? You gotta trial and error and see how big, how small, how you want this. But I did want a bigger walkway. I wanna be able to walk around. And again, I wanted to be able to work with the white planks. So we destroy everything that we've done in the past and we're gonna extend it and we're gonna make this platform a lot wider, a lot bigger. And now that, again, it took a lot of planning. It wasn't just straightforward, you know, and this why I let a lot of stuff in this video. There could have been a couple sections I could edit and not leave in here, but I think it's good for you guys to see, you know, all the trials and errors that it takes, you know, just to build because I want you guys to see it. I want you guys to be motivated and I want you guys not to lose uh, hope, you know, it's, it, it is a learning curve and you are going to get better in, in each and every build that we do in LEGO Fortnite. But you know, and with that, with every update that we get to LEGO Fortnite, I do believe that the game's gonna get better, it's gonna get smoother, we're gonna get better tiles, better stuff, all the time, so we can keep creating amazing things in this game. Okay, so right here we are, we are placing more planks once again, and just trying to decide, like, I, I, I needed to understand, like, how wide you wanna go, what kind of planks do I have, can I go this way? Can I go the other way? Should I use the long one? Should I use a short one? And we needed to do a combination into the point that we have enough that we can complete. And once you find that, right, the platform came a little wider than I wanted. You know, this is not the ideal platform that I wanted, but at the same time, I wanted to be square. I really wanted it to be square and I really wanted it to work. So this is what we have. This is what we did. And then eventually we're gonna do the final touches on the outside as we continue to work on this village, right? And that's the goal. Everything is about the little details. Everything is about the little design. But once again, once you get the math and all of that, then it's straightforward. And as you can see, you start putting the planks, you start doing that. And the way my math came out is we needed to do this so we can do extend it and then do final fixes. So here I'm trying to figure out which way to fix it and you see it we fix it we put it and sometimes you gotta work with planks in different direction right in one way we want long ways and the other way we horizontal horizontal <laughs> oh my goodness you know so so sometimes you just gotta things play out in different ways right but like i mentioned the platform came out a lot wider than i initially wanted but to get the right measurements that i need it needed to be like this right and hopefully in the future lego developers if you're here we need the same tiles that we're giving up but we need one in one block okay one block one little square so we can actually do final details and do the build the way we truly see it and want it to be right okay so we are continuing and you see now we got to a point in in one of the sections here that no matter what I did, you know, it was not gonna work. So we had to redo this all back. Everything was wrong because it, was, it wasn't it was wrong. It was just built from the old build, right? So we needed to extend it. We needed to move the pieces. And this part took a little while to really get right and get the right measurements. And again, I left it in because I wanted you guys to see what it takes, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's, you know, I want you to understand that. I know the game can be a little frustrating, you know, and I want you to see that it does take work, right? But the result and once you get there and you get the measurements and you get everything it feels really good now truly truly we're gonna get to a point that you're gonna see that i have to use two different planks just to get it right you know i'm, I'm gonna hide it we're gonna put some furniture on there on top so you don't see the different <laughs> the different tile that we had to use but it's better than trying to keep pushing it, you know? And sometimes, you know, that's part of designing, right? Uh, I, I know I can hide it. I know I can put a different piece of furniture. I can put a desk. We can put something else on top of those little sections there. And that's gonna come very soon. You're gonna see that because, you know, it was, it was not gonna work. It was not gonna work. And I did spend so much time, you know, and this is super sped up. This little video is going super fast. So in normal time, you know, it was such a long time of thinking and planning and just, 
incredibly long sections, you know, trying, trying just to get this right, you know, but this is what I love. I love building. I love designing, you know, there's nothing like it. There's nothing of the reward and the satisfaction of building something that you really have in your mind, bringing it to the world and, you know, and just enjoying the process, you know, and I truly, I am enjoying the process, you know, even though I'm saying right here in this video, it can be a little frustrating. I'm truly enjoying how much fun these guys can be and the possibilities that we can have playing this game. And I can't, I'm just so excited. This game came out of nowhere. Never expected this game to be amazing the way it is, the way it looks, the way it feels. Uh, playing with Lego pieces once again is so much fun, you know, but here we are. Okay, so here's the section that I was telling you about. Uh, we're gonna work it a little bit, but very soon you're gonna see that I'm gonna use two different planks. And I'm telling you, I, I don't feel bad about it. I know I can hide it. I know I'm gonna put something on top of it. And But I was just so happy that those two planks, for whatever reason, actually fit co compared with the other ones that just it, it, it was the right size you know and this is why i'm saying uh lego uh lego developers we 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 need your help and we need you to give us you know one one block one block tile will help so much it just that one block in every tile that you give us in the future one block of that because then we can do even if we need to put 350 blocks, whatever it is, one block, but at least we can always get the measurements the way we need to. Okay, so something that I noticed that, that was a little mistake of mine, I covered a whole plot that it needed to be for the farm. I was like, oh my gosh, why, why, why is this sidewalk over here? It's so much white, you know, so much tile. And then I realized, oh, that's right. I, I kind of cover uh, the the next section where the soil is gonna be. Now I, we do have plans. You know, if you're if you found this video, you found this channel. We do live stream this game and we do build most of it. Most of this town, you know, we are building a live stream with the community with everybody. So if if you want to follow us and keep watching this series, you know, uh, because a lot of it's gonna be and definitely it's gonna be build videos for specific uh, videos. I am working on another one right now at this very moment that's gonna be part of this farm. You know. This is the section right here. You see how I'm working and I want this towel, but this towel doesn't have what we need. <laughs> what we need. So uh, I've eventually I figured it out and we just two, two different ones and, and then we take care of it. But, but you know, but if you want to join us in this journey as we continue to build and discover, and if you love designing, you know, and you want to put your input and join us in chat, give us ideas, you know, uh, we love it. We will love it because this, this game, you know, it's amazing with the community, with people and engaging and coming up with new and better ideas to keep building in this amazing game. Okay, so now we get to the top and this is the, where I finally decided, you know, see, you know what, you know, at first you don't want to do the work, but do always do the vision and do what you feel like you want. And I started working on this, this the next section on this roofing that I really wanted. So we have another plank that's a little more dark. So I really wanted a little contrast on the roof just to make it look really cool, right? And that's what we're doing. So we're adding this. But as you notice, you notice how some of the uh, the boards are already shifting. This is a section that I don't know what happened. It was so frustrating and I needed to log out and come back in. Log out and come back in because everything kept turning and turning and turning. So now I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if you're not supposed to do these pieces and the bottom pieces together like this. Uh, I don't know idea. Maybe maybe the Lego game has some fixes, uh, uh, physics that I don't know about that makes this happen. But you're gonna notice how they start curving and curving and you see it now. You see how they are curving, you know? And the only way to fix that was I needed to log out, reload the game and everything was straight again. And do it and do it just so I can finish this roof. And it only happened on this roof. And I don't know what happened. I, I, I truly don't know. I don't know if it's just, see, you see how it's placing? You see how much that curve? It was the weirdest thing. But then if you log out of the game and come back in, it's super straight the way it was intended. So I don't, I truly don't know what happened there. I don't know if that was a mechanic. I don't know if just something in the server, in the time of the day that I was on, but look at this, look at that. Oh my goodness. But we, we ended up fixing it. We had to log in a couple of times. It was a little annoying and break it down and redo it. But once we did it, everything worked out great. Everything worked out perfect. And then we finally finished the roof and that was, the most important part, right? We needed to finish the roof so we can finish this farm and make it look the way we needed to. And then once we finished that, you know, everything was 
great you know we finished the roof we finished the planking uh we needed to just do a little walk through we needed to see what we had and then and then the next bill is coming and i'm so excited for the next one because it's gonna along with this one but look at this look how this came out it came out you know for our first bill i think we did really great i love the way it came out i love the feel uh, i love that it's just different it's no longer a blueprint we're making something and it just feels great to create, to build, to do something that is just looks amazing and wonderful. And I love this game. I, I, I think the, the, this game is exactly belongs in this channel. It just belongs and it's just a creative outlet that we all need and it's just an enjoyment. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited for what's coming next. I'm so excited for all the other builds. I'm excited to continue to play with this with all of you and whoever comes to the live stream and hopefully to keep inspiring, inspiring others and you guys to inspire me and also to see all your builds that you do in LEGO Fortnite. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you next time. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.